All right, we back at it, Homegrown Radio. Uh, Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head. West Coast. Got one of the homegrown homies, man. Uh, uh, it's been some time since we talked to him, but he's back up yeah, in here, yeah. man. The homie Young is back, man. What's the deal? What's good, man? What's man, going on? Chilling, working. Working hard, man. Yeah. You got that I Wish record that, yep. that's been going up, man. I've been seeing you you going hard, especially through the, uh, the, the All-Star Weekend as well, man. Yeah, I'm trying to put legs on it, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just getting it out there since it's me. Reinvent myself and gotcha. coming back out. You know, when you say reinventing yourself, what you what do you mean as far as uh outside of Cali Swag District, uh we each individual is different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like when we do songs on our own, yeah. it's different from Cali Swag District music as a whole, you gotcha. know. Yeah. So it's really like now that I'm reinventing myself, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, it's like a whole new person. Like I'm starting all over right, again, pretty right. much. You know what I'm saying? So how, how's that process for you? Is it is it is it tough? Is it hard? Is it something that you you look forward to the challenge? Like what's your your, your thought process when it comes um, to reinventing yourself? Man, it's, I can't lie, it's hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like the grind is something I never I never really went through like that because we got signed so fast. We got right. signed in a matter of seven months. Gotcha. Like, gotcha. After we came out with Teach Me How to Dougie, wow. you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. so I mean I didn't really. I ain't really go through this much work like in that by myself at mm -hmm. that, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm really just I'm putting in the work for real. Like I'm really out here on my t ten toes, like t in it, doing whatever I got to do to put it out there. You know, speaking what I'm saying? of which, do you think? Don't you think that Cali Swag District blowing up so fast hurt you in the long run? Uh, yeah, it's, it's like a gift and a curse. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that, cause when people see when they see us all together, or when they see me, they just Actually, the song just got bigger than us. Right. You know what I'm saying? They didn't, a lot of people didn't even really know our names. Mm -hmm. They didn't know Cali Swag District. I remember a time we was in New York and people was coming up to us like, oh, the Dougie, Dougie Boys. Guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, damn, they don't even know our right, name. Like, right. or they see us walking and they look like, damn, they look familiar. Mm -hmm. Song drop. Oh, shit. Like, right. it's them. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it, it's a gift and a curse, but, you know, I appreciate every moment you know what I'm saying I'm thankful for of course. for the song because I, that's forever you know exactly. what I'm saying it's one of the I wouldn't I'm still gonna I'm gonna go down to history with Absolutely. that one, you know what I'm saying so and you got you know? attention off of that too and like yeah. you, even building off this momentum you have something to kind of track back to and say yo you know like you said we've we've done something in, in hip hop that you know yeah. it hasn't been done and, and, and B like we can kind of stand on as well yeah. man because I think that brought that brought the light back to the West for for for. I mean, we we talk about it being dry out here. We 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 have jokes about that how <laughs> it was you know it was popping and wasn't popping and popping and wasn't popping yeah. dry not dry and then that was one of the reasons why there was a, the light back over here as well. Yeah, man. It's I mean it's a blessing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I'm still traveling off of the song. That's you crazy. know what I'm saying. So I feel like I'm. I'm ten steps ahead yeah. uh, of most people. That's that's just now coming out because you feel me. I got something. You know what I'm saying to that I could. You know, I could be like, I, I, I was established right, already, like, right. boom. But at the same time, I don't even look at it like that. Like, I'm so I'm so humble and so regular. I like, I see somebody grinding. I'm like, bro, I'm just like you. We right. on the same thing. Look, I hope you make it too. Like, yeah. I'm looking at you like you looking at me. Yeah, you but they look at you too. Like, but you got the reason why The reason why I had asked you that, though, is because... Like what you just said, like, man, getting out here doing the footwork, doing the leg work, having yeah. to grind it out. And it, and I think that that's a process that when artists blow up so fast that they miss. So yes. when you have to when you got to humble yourself and double back and do the leg, do the leg work, do the groundwork, you know, do things that you probably didn't have to do on your way up. Yeah. Is it is it kind of like are you have you adjusted to that completely or is it like. Uh, I mean, nah, I'm just now adjusting to it, right. you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of stuff is new to me. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the time, a long t a long time ago, I was with people. Like, you'll probably see Savon with me. Shout out to Savon. Yeah. You'll see the homies with me. You know, like, and they was doing a lot of the work that I didn't have to do. Gotcha. So right now, I'm doing a lot of the work that they was doing, yeah. too. Like, so I'm when I'm on stage, I'm actually performing for me and the homies. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel me? At first, it was like, I didn't really have to do that much because then, and boom. Dance. Right, 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 he right, start right. dancing, and yeah. then I'm I'm rapping, and he. It's like the energy come from all of us. But now I gotta put on Everybody. the whole show yeah. by myself. So it's like, damn. I I sit back and be like, yo, this shit kind of hard. Right, right. <laughs> hey, well, we um, I know we we had we had talked to you after after Inbone passed away. Right. And then and then we talked. Did we talk after? We didn't we, talk after. Uh, the, the, nah. We, we didn't talk. talk okay. So we didn't talk after third. But so my thing is like. 
we have a picture in, at Homegrown, mm-hmm. and it's it's fucking crazy. We have it at we have it at, we had it at Homegrown, and it was all four of y'all. Then it was three of y'all, and it was like, damn, it was like that shit. Fuck with me, like on some you know what I mean, on some, other, on some other shit. But um, the transition from Cali Swag District to now just pushing your own shit. How difficult is that for you, having lost two of the homies like that? Um, it get difficult at times based on my feelings, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, I get emotional, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm cool with saying that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, should be. Like, like I'll be, I be performing, and I look to my left and my right, like, damn, ain't nobody up here with me. Right. Like, the homies, because I, I could remember, I picture, like, damn, M-Bone used to be right here all the mm-hmm. time. The homie right here all the time. Yeah. And then I'll be like, you know what? They still up here with me. Right. Go hard. Yeah. You feel me? That's how I look at it. So it's like uh, I use that as motivation, fuel, because I'm like, I know they looking like, oh, that's crazy. Look at this nigga. Yeah. Right. You feel me? <laughs> exactly. So, so I use it as when motivation. You, so when you when you um do perform the song, you rap their you rap their lyrics too, or how does it how does it? Uh, it de- so it depends on what kind of show it is. Because when I'm overseas, like they love that song so much. You feel me? I'm overseas. I come out. And I do my verse, mm-hmm. but then at the very end of the show, they play. I'd say play that motherfucker back, but play mm-hmm. everybody verse. You feel me? Gotcha. Just, just you know what I'm saying. Let it ride. And I Damn. turn up. You feel me? I turn up for Smooth, Jr. and Bone. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I turn up for everybody. And they just they pretty much the crowd perform it with me. So That's I really dope. ain't got to do too much work when I do that song. Right. They just they like hey, cause it's just like you know they know the song. You That's play nice. it, they gonna go if I'm up there or not. But it's a plus when I'm up there because exactly. they like oh shit, like you yeah. feel me? And sometimes they forget. Like they they see me come up on stage and then when the song play they be like oh that is him right you feel me because I was young. we was young Man. you know right. so they be like oh that is him and then they just start going up now th- did, uh, I was gonna ask you this though because uh, you mentioned that that song you you still you know touring off of that traveling traveling off of that nowadays what is the what is it like like what what's your goal right now you say you reinvent yourself are you looking to try to put an album out or whatever because right now singles are in. The way the way the way music is now it seems like you don't necessarily have to put an album That's out. Crazy. So is that your goal, or are you like not looking nah, at that way? Uh, when I when, at, at first when I first started doing this on my own, mm-hmm. my in my head I'm like I'm about to just flood them. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm to drop music and tapes and videos. I'm about to just flood them. Just try to stay relevant, keep myself in their face. Yeah. And then Big Y, he had a talk with me. Shout out to Big Y. Yeah. He was like he was like man. He said Young said. The, the last tapes you dropped, you know what I'm saying? You got some good songs on there. And, like, don't nobody know that. Like, ain't nobody heard them, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, you right. He like, you should just drop singles. And I'm like, I'm going to just drop singles now because what you just said exactly. is right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't going to drop no tape, no albums or nothing until I'm really popping or if, like, my I'm booming. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like, I feel like it's pointless to drop an album. You got all these songs on, like, you got 18, 12 songs on a on a tape or something, and people going to listen to what they like. Anyway, you feel me? And yeah. you got you work so hard on this. Like, dang, I want you to appreciate this project, listen to all the songs. Yeah. But it's not like that, really. So I, I'm like, all right, I'm going to drop singles, and I'm going to push. Yeah. I'm going to push. And well, then, it, it just depends. Like, it depends on that's how I ask you what your goal is because some people just do it for the art of music and just yeah. love to just like you said flood the streets with that and that's cool mm-hmm. but at the same time too like, like we, you can't deny it like they're like we were just talking about OT Genesis OT Genesis ain't, ain't dropping an album and he got songs that's the example everybody bring up exactly like, OT and then when I have a talk with him he'd tell me the same thing though. Mm. like 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 you know what I'm saying he'd tell me keep doing what I'm doing but you feel me put put them singles out yeah and if you feel like it's the one. Push that one Go. until you feel me. Until you feel like, all right, I got another one. Right. Push that one. You feel me? So I'm just, I'm really just taking my time with it now, and I'm actually listening to people and taking advice and you know using that. Like, right. all right, I'm listening to you. You, I, right, I'm gonna do that. Was, was, that was that your Was that your personality prior? Like when everything was going on, were you the one that that listened to advice, or were you kind of like, nah, I'm too young. I'm just gonna do what I want to do. Both, probably. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I took a lot of advice and that's why I, I kept a lot of relationships from when Perfect. we was when I'm just that type of person, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I chop it up with people, I talk to people and I'm cool. Like I really don't ask for too much. Gotcha. You feel me? I try to figure out how to do it on my own. I'd be like, cause I know I know a lot of people don't wanna help you help you like that or they just you know what I'm saying, they might say they will right, and then right. they don't wanna they don't know how to tell you, they mm-hmm. don't wanna do it or you know what I'm saying, people need their money, like it's a whole Something, bunch of right, stuff right. going on. So I I sit back, observe. Listen, and I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna figure it out, and then eventually I figure it out, and I just do it. 
you know. All so, right, how comfortable are you with with uh, criticism as far as like music and stuff like that? Man, I used to be horrible at it. Right, <laughs> I, but I remember a point in time where I mean, it wasn't just you though. It yeah. was smooth. It was like. <sighs> Hell yeah. yeah y'all being y'all feelings about like how people fuck with the records if they don't, you know what I'm saying? Oh god. I, I used to on oh god. You had to grow I out to, of that or Yeah, yeah. Sometimes so you know, you sometimes you're gonna get a little butt hurt because you're like, mm. damn, I thought that shit was tight. Right. Yeah. Right. Like you feel know yeah. me? Like I thought it was tight. Right. But now I take that and I listen, I use that as fuel, motivation. I'd be like, all right, so what didn't you like about it? All right, I could all right, I could fix that. It's just gonna make me go back in. I'm harder. gonna go harder. Like I'm gonna be like, all right, I got you. Watch what I do. You gonna see me again. You feel me? Like I be like, I got you. That's good. But, so I, I really don't, I really don't get butt hurt like that. Like um, but I used to. I used to uh, like we be in the studio. The homies be like, that verse was weak, bro. Hit the weed. <laughs> like they tell me like some cut. Like bro, you gotta go back in. And I be like. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing the song. Damn. Like, I'll go sit it because it'll mess up my vibe. Right. Like, I'm like, damn, I don't know what you, what am I supposed to say now? You know how long it took me to right, think of that right, bar right. right there? Right. Like, what you mean? I thought like, I was going to fuck him up yeah, with that one. You feel yeah. me? Like, what you mean? But now I'm like, you right. I could I could go harder. Mm -hmm. That's how I be thinking. Because yeah. I had a homeboy, homie, he he was listening to my records. He's like, he like, hey, bro, that's tight. But have you ever just wrote your verses and like, took at least like two more minutes to think about what you about to say mm. think about that bar he mm. said take take a little bit more time he said what you saying is dope but if you take a little bit more time you never know you might come up with something even better damn and i'm like all right so now that's what i do like sometimes i sit back and i'll be like bro it ain't no rush let you it breathe me? i ain't yeah. got a rush so i just sit back and be chilling i think and i'll be like all right, I got it. Yeah. You feel me? And if that ain't it, I'm like, it still ain't no rush. What did what, <laughs> you think? Know the, what, what was the rush coming from? Like, why did you feel like you had to put it out there like as soon Man. as it was written or or came because up with? I, I used to feel like it wasn't enough time in the world. Mm. <laughs> like, I'm like, man, I gotta let's yeah. go. Yeah. I'm that type of person. Like, I'm anxious. Yeah. I'd be like, man, let's go. What we doing? You tell me that I don't get no sleep. Like I just said, I just came from San Diego. Like I only came back cause, so I could do this. Right. Wow. You feel me? I be dope. I be doing this and I be by myself most of the time. I don't. I really don't sleep. Wow. I be out and I be like, like I be like, damn, it ain't enough time. Mm -hmm. And then when the homies passed away, uh, Embo never got to go overseas. Mm -hmm. Like he passed away Man. and then right. we started yeah, going yeah, overseas. Yeah. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, I got to do something now because I don't know you what's going to happen. Gonna happen like, I'm like, damn, it ain't enough time. And then JR passed away. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, all right, something got to happen now. Yeah. That's how I be feeling. But then I be in the studio and I be like, you know what? I got this. It's cool. Like, nigga, chill out. Breathe. A little Everybody bit of that be balance. Telling me that. Yeah. Why? I be like, young. Yeah. I call Y late. Yeah. Hey, look, I got this. He be like, young, yeah, I'm asleep. Yeah. It's like, what he you like, expect? Call right me now. back. The office hours from yeah. nine to five. Like he's, he's so, and I'll be like, because my brain go like this, bro. I'll be so ready. And I'm like, all right, I could chill. Let me chill. And that's a, that's that. a good thing, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. You just got to figure out a way to channel it. Yeah, and once you, If you can channel it and it be like more or less, if you can channel it into more or less productivity, like where it makes more sense, like not being all over the place, but focus all that energy into one direction. Right. You know what I'm saying? It could work for you. I'm trying. I'm trying. You feel me? No, it's, I think I think it's, it's it's working out for you, man. Like I said, it, it's we've always seen the the progression. We've seen the changes. We've seen all that, and to see you still standing, still st see you still pushing, it shows a testament of who you are as a person and and what you want for your career. Like especially uh, solo, exactly. You know what I'm saying? What's the uh, what's the relationship like with Smooth? Oh, that's my dog. Like I talk to Smooth every day. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But he got a daughter. And he about to have another one. Gotcha. Oh shit! You know life, what I'm saying? Life, life. So with him, you know, he loved music. Like he he liked doing music, but it's other things before that. Priorities. Him, yeah. Yeah. He got it's like real life situations. And Smooth didn't start off as a rapper. Mm -hmm. He DJ. Gotcha. You feel me? It all came together with Cali Swag District. So with me, I've been I've been saying I'm gonna be a rapper since I was 12 years old. Mm. So this is really. What I see, I'll be like, damn, bro, this all I got. Yeah. Like, this is what I see myself doing. And Smooth be like, hey, do your thing. Right. You feel me? He give me motivation. He called me. He be like, he see me doing shows and he see people going up. He be like, look at him. Like, you feel me? So, I mean, as long as he cool, I'm good. So, do you, it had, <clears throat> okay. Has there, what was the conversation like? Like, obviously, you guys lost M Bone, but then after, after JR passed, like, what was the conversation between you and Smooth? Like how to proceed as far as Cali Swag District? And it's it's been multiple. Me and Smooth, we uh we we call each other out. We'd be sitting down and we'd be like, 
So what we doing? You feel me? And he'd be like, man, we just got to get in the studio full and work. Like, you feel me? But we'd go in the studio and the homies not been there. The vibe ain't the same. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's different. And me and Smooth, two totally different people. Gotcha. You feel me? Like, I'm more of a, and I'm I'm outside. I'm at your cl- I'm at the clubs. Yeah. I'm popping it with the DJs. Mm-hmm. I I'm around a group of females. I'm like like this is what I, what I like doing. I ain't got no kids. And right. I'm t- the lifestyle. I'm t- yeah, yeah. You feel me? I'm t- smooth. He he's more of a he a father. Mm-hmm. You feel me? He he working. He trying to figure it out. He's at home. He playing video games and bro love cars. Gotcha. So you know he going if it's cars like Marrows and that's that's his thing. You know what I'm saying? And so I. T- I told Smooth, I'm like, look, bro, uh, when I get in the studio, I got a lot to say. You know, I like, I got a lot I want to talk about. When I get in the studio, I just want to, I want to vibe and, and work. Smooth be like, do your thing. Yeah. He'll come in and chill with me and listen to my music. And he'll be like, that's hard, fool. When he heard, the, when Smooth heard I Wish, mm-hmm. he looked at me and he said, hey, you might have one with this. <laughs> that's what he said. Mm. And I looked at him and like, that coming from you? Cause he ain't never really just told me like my own solo music. Right. Like, hey nigga, like this kind of hard, bro. You might you might want to push this. And he like, we gonna do whatever we gotta do to push this. And I looked at him and I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, all right. Well, that there you go. Damn. Like, you feel me? So that's that's me and bro relationship. Gotcha. Like, he with whatever I'm with. You know what I'm saying? What do you have? You have you? What's the fans? What's the the Cali Swag District fans like transitioning into just? The straight up young fans. Does, is that is that a is that? Do you see that or is it? Kind of swag. This your fans is old. You know they, they grew <laughs> up with you. Yeah. No, look, we. No, have. I'm just saying. But you, you like you say, you have a lot to say, right? Yeah. So the stuff, obviously, they're gonna mature with you. Your fans grow with you. So if you have them, then do you feel like a lot of them transferred over to being young fans, or it's a completely new fan base for young? Some of them, but I didn't. I didn't create a completely new fan base with just just me. And that's that was really my goal because the Cali Swag District fans they were still looking for Cali Swag District Fact. and like songs that Cali Swag District did, you know what I'm saying? And they they older now, you know. A lot of Cali Swag District fans got kids. Yeah. You know, I know a girl that was a fan Cali Swag District fan, and I seen her working at Crazy Girls. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Like she was a kid. But now what? she's older though, so I'm thinking to myself, oh, she not listening, not they not they remember, right. but they not checking for Cali Swag District because gotcha. they listening to all the uh, the new joints like the stuff that's popping now. Gotcha. You know what right, I'm right, saying? Right. So they so when they see me, they this is the, the conversation be like, oh, that was you, mm. I remember that, I was in eighth grade, like they say <sighs> something like that, and I'd be like, damn, that's crazy, we was out of high school, yeah. you was in eighth grade. Mm-hmm. And like I'm like I get it now y'all y'all older like y'all y'all fans is y'all you know yeah, what I'm saying no, you, yeah, so you now I'm I'm really reinventing myself for real like I'm like all right I gotta create a whole new fan base exactly. you feel me but that's what I've been doing because my music don't sound like st- anything that Kelly Swag this should be you know what I'm saying so I'm like I'm cool with it what 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 comes with that as far as reinventing yourself what what things are you talking about what things do you want to make sure when you say reinventing Mm-hmm. Who young is like? What what things are you cognizant of? Like when you get in the studio and say, "Ah, you know what? I don't want to do that because I don't want them to think that it's the same, you know, same thing was Cali Swag District." Or I want to make sure I take it to the next level with who young is. Uh, with Cali Swag District, we was focused on the dancing, the partying, the the regular stuff, like the reg- the typical LA stuff back then. Like you know what I'm saying when you drinking, turning up, talking about some really ain't had no no real content to the music. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? We just go in the studio, find a beat. Oh, that's hard. And, vibe and to just it. go rap, yeah. like rap, and come up with a hook that sound cool. You know what I'm saying? And if people nodding their head and dancing, we mostly say, "Hey, M Bone." We say, "Listen to this." Mm. If he start moving his feet, we would be that's like, it. "All right, yeah, that's cool. We wow. got that one next." You know what I'm saying? We'd do like 30 records wow. and just be like, "But now." I didn't went through so much. I got life like situations. I'll be talking. I'll be wanting to talk about something. Like I'm like, man, I'm I got I want to tell these people something. Like yeah. they don't really know me like that. Mm-hmm. Like I want y'all to really know who I am. Like people see me and when they hang with me, they be like, bro, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know you was you was from here or I didn't know people a lot of people thought we was from Texas. Right. Yeah, because yeah, of that, yeah. a lot of people thought we was like twelve years old. You <laughs> feel me? A lot of I'm like, man, y'all not, cause y'all not listening. They was focused on the dancing. I'm like, when y'all start listening, once y'all know who I am, y'all gonna start listening to my music. What do you y'all. think is the biggest mis what do you think is the biggest misconception of young right now? Uh 
the biggest misconception of young is? Hmm. Man, that's a good question, bro. Uh, I'm re- I'm really not sure, man. I I just feel like people don't 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 know who I am. They just what's something that you want the, them, the people to know about young? That I'm the I'm I'm the most I'm the most I'm the most humble dude you can like you can meet. You know what I'm saying? And I want them to I want people to get my story and know that it's possible for them to do whatever they want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want them to look at me and be like, okay, see, I see what he went through and what he doing, and I could do that too. So me going through whatever I'm going through, it's not going to stop me because yeah. I didn't went through some everything. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'll be like, I think about it, I'll be like, hey, I woke up today, look where I'm at. Right. Like, I'm up here right now. Mm-hmm. And I'll be tripping. I trip off the little things. I'll be mm-hmm. like, look, and I'm about up here by myself. Yeah. So I'll be tripping off that. I'll be like, like, look, look, because I didn't stop. Yeah. So. Is there anything that's off limits when it comes to the music? <clears throat> like, that you are, are like, either haven't hit the point that you want to start talking about or not comfortable with? Not comfortable with? Oh, uh, no. Nah, I'm. Co- I'm talking about it all. So what's the what's the most difficult thing that you've had? To, maybe it's a song that's not out there right now, or a song that is out there. What's the most difficult song that you've had to record as far as subject matter? Like, damn, I actually touched on that and talked about that. Uh, just when I talk about my homies, mm-hmm. and then my uh, like I got my sister, she got MS. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I talk about uh, just 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 everything that you you would people assume that I'm rich. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So they look at my Instagram. Or see what I'm doing, or just know I'm. I was on TV. Yeah. I had one of the biggest songs in the world, and just look at me and be like, "Oh, bro, rich." Right. So I feel like I can't ask nobody for nothing. Mm. Cause if I ask somebody for something, they gonna be like, "Yeah, you right." Got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. But in my head, I'm thinking like, "That's crazy." But yeah. I already know, so I'm like, "All right, that <laughs> I I just gotta figure it out." That, 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 that was one of the things that I thought about too. I'm like, "Damn, the I Wish record is it's dope because it connects to people that are in." Not necessarily in the streets, but just out there, and they haven't. It's for anybody that's that's trying to get a dream, right? Yeah. A, a, trying to attain a dream, and a lot of stuff that you say in there is like I feel like things that you've accomplished as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's on one end you're talking about these things, but you're still like, yo, I'm still I'm still living I, it myself. Man, I'm still I'm still in Inglewood. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't went nowhere. I'm literally I'm still in the hood. Like mm-hmm. I'm still around all the gang members. Yeah, all the violence, all the bullshit, all the bums, and I'm around these dudes. Me, mm. they just got finished looking at me on TV or whatever they just see me on, looking at my Instagram overseas. But when I come back from Dubai, I'm going right back to Inglewood. Right. Yeah. And they, it's a, a trip. It's a trip to me because I got, I feel like I'm like, damn, I got two lives. Right. Like, like this is crazy. You feel yeah. me? Because I'm, I'm, I'm over here. I'm living like Michael Jackson. Yeah. And you feel me? They think I'm, they, they going crazy. I come back home. It's like right back to bullshit. Mm. You feel me? That's how I feel. But yeah. I'm like. That's the story that I'm telling though. Like I'm letting I'm letting you know. Like like I'm I'm still in it, but this is hard. Like I'm I'm right here. When you when you say because I remember having that experience, like going. Uh, I remember I got to go. Like I went to go stay in a Birdman's condo, like in in um in uh Biscay. It was like in Miami, like yeah. off Biscayne Bay or somewhere like that. Yeah, that's big. And <laughs> damn right. No, I mean it was crazy because at the time I think I might I might have had thirty dollars to my name total. All in, checking account overdrafted, you know what I'm saying? All like that. that. And so, like, having those experiences, I think nobody can relate to that type of shit. So, no. you trying to have those conversations when you get back to the hood is impossible. Exactly, bro. It's impossible yeah. because it's like, bro, I just seen you with so and so and doing this yeah, and doing this. You know how people, oh, you own. Right, you own. Yeah. You own what you mean? Let me <laughs> right, hold something. Right. And in my head, I'll be thinking, like, bro. You have no, no idea, idea yeah. right now. I still got a whole life. Yeah. You feel me? Outside of music, like, I, I could get some money, but it's gone. Right. Because I got people I got to look after. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel me? I think about my family, and that's my goal. Like, I want to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like see, you ain't com- I ain't, if I ain't comfortable, I'm I'm out here. Right. Like you feel me? Like I dropped a tape called "You Too Comfortable" because mm. I was telling these I'm like, bro, <laughs> you too comfortable right now. Yeah, like you pe- people get their first little thirty thousand, they get their little fifty or twenty or whatever, and they sit back like they that they good. And I'll be thinking to myself like, Mm-mm, that ain't it. That you ain't tripping. enough, bro. Yeah. You tripping, bro? <laughs> like yeah. what? you you can you can speak from that lifestyle because I mean you you dealt with that and you it's, know exactly how it is firsthand. So I think it it means something coming from you versus just the next man saying, "Oh man, you too comfortable." So I I, 
I applaud you for using your platform Appreciate for that because a lot of people don't. They may not understand or hear that message, but the fact that you, you know, letting them know is. is are dope. you much more? Uh, are you much more financially responsible now? Do you feel like you than you were during the Cali Swag shit? Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Because when when we we had people come up before we got our first checks, we had people come up to us like, "Hey, man, when y'all get this money, make sure y'all do yeah. like telling us the right thing." We listening to them like this, in one All ear right. out the other. Huh? But soon. Soon as the the checks came in, everything that I all the good that I said I wanted to do, yeah. like you know, and investing and stuff, mm-hmm. I couldn't think of it. <laughs> you like, ah, I'm like, really? I'm like, I swear to God, like, like we got the checks, and I'm like, I'm like, all right, uh, my give my mom some money, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I'm thinking like, what the, what else am I supposed to right, do? Right, right, right. Uh, Jr. called me like, hey, you trying to go to the mall? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. like, Why not? so we was just, but, but we had, but we had somebody in our ear mm-hmm. telling us, man, spin that. It was one person, like, wow. spin that. Y'all gonna get it right back. <sighs> and we was in our prime. So when, when I wouldn't listen, like, say for instance, I, I have some money, like five, five thousand or something, and I go to the mall and I see something that costs a grip, like some designer shit costs a grip. I wouldn't buy. I was the one. I'm like a Jew when it comes to money. <laughs> so I, I see something, I'll be like, like, uh. I ain't gonna get that. Right. Because, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> and the homies will go, nigga. Boom. Let's get and it. they start buying. And then we have a show. And then I, I get some more money in my head. I'll be like, damn, I could have bought that. Because I got I just got right. this right. So it was kind of messing with me. And yeah. I'm like, all right, I am gonna get it back until it starts slowing down. Yeah. And then I'm like, wait a minute. I should have said it. Why, why did not say right. that? So what, what, what do you feel like the, the stupidest purchase that you've made or like something that you look back and like, man, I didn't need that? All right, look, I was, uh, I had a car, right? Mm. But I was renting cars at the same time. Like, yeah. I was, but what I was doing, uh, when I, we had come back and we'd be home for like two, three weeks. Mm. And I just go rent the stupidest foreign car ever and keep it. Just to have it, yeah. Until we leave again, come back and drive to this, a little whatever. Right. And then I'd be like, I'll park it. And then I'll go rent another. I just keep doing it wow. and keep doing it. And they had my card. Like they just, they was happy when I they walked was like, in. Yeah, come dinner. on, y'all, like, come oh, on. Yo, you back? Yeah, we got something for you. Wow. But in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm just riding. Right, and I'm right. like, bro, that was dumb as hell. Yeah. I spent so much money on just trying to drive different cars just to flex and stuff. I'm like, bro, I was stupid. Yeah. When you, when you was doing that, <laughs> I was, bro, I be trying to tell the young, the young homies like, bro, it's like, right now I drive a 2002 Tahoe. You know I drive saying? a 2007 Infinity truck. So, right, see, right. and you doing better than me. Right. So, my thing is, when you when you was driving them cars, what what am, do did okay? This one I'm trying to ask you: when you were driving those cars, did you feel good? Was the feeling worth it? How you feel now about it is what I'm asking. In the moment, did it what did it feel as did it feel like it was worth it knowing what you know now? I almost, I mean, in the moment, it felt it felt good because I felt like man, I'm yeah, I'm living. Because mm-hmm. sometimes when you when you come from like yeah. the 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 hood and you you used to certain things that you you feel me when you finally get a chance to do what you want to do like I'm doing this because I want to mm-hmm. like driving in forums and coming out to the valley or going to Hollywood and stuff like that it felt good yeah. because it's like it gave me a break right it's like oh, I'm away from the bullshit look right. at me you feel me like it gave me a break but it wasn't worth I could have did something better smarter you know what I'm saying it wasn't worth just losing all that money, and I don't have them cars now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, I mean, you could have cut down on it. Was yeah. that like? So here's the thing. Like, I, I I go back and forth because I'm looking at it like when you said it just it, it fucked me up to hear that Embo didn't get a chance to go overseas. Yeah. So it's like on one end, it's I feel like it's okay to flex, and as long as you like min, min, minimize it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you want to do that once or twice, there's nothing wrong with that. But if it's like, okay, every flex time responsibly. You, flex responsibly, please. <laughs> but now, but the, the thing is, you got a chance to do it. Yeah. So it's like on one end to enjoy that lifestyle is amazing because nobody can take that from you. That's part of why uh why I did the song I wish mm-hmm. because me wishing and and, and actually tasting that, that life. Yeah. And just to come back and it's like Oh, 
know like what did you do like right. i know you just didn't, didn't that shit just you just didn't it's all, all on and yeah. you just yeah. what are you doing yeah. so it, it just had you thinking because i used to work at vons right mm -hmm. before before i got signed when I, as soon as i graduated high school i got a job at vons and i used to see all these maseratis and pulling up, pulling up and i'm out there pushing baskets mm -hmm. and i'm thinking to myself like Damn, I wish I was on. Right. I'm working at Vons, like you feel me. And then I got signed, and then I'm like, oh, I could do that now. Right. You feel me? But I did it the wrong way. So now I'm still out here wishing though. Mm -hmm. Like people, you think I'm on, but I'm telling you, nah. I wish I was on. Yeah. You feel me? But I'm telling you, I'm trying to tell y'all how to. All right, let's we gonna do it a little different gotcha. now, and it's still possible to get there because yeah. y'all see where I was, and you know y'all seen it. It ain't no secret. You. you they know what happened, right, you know right. what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, look, look at me though. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still going. What's the what do you feel like is the cause I like that you that you talk about like your your experiences as far as like working at Vines and like yeah. because a lot of people try to act like they came out their mom's uterus on. Oh, on, on. Like, like like I had a hit record as soon as I was born. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah, even man. know nothing about a regular job. Yeah. I don't know. Like that should be crazy to me. Like mm -hmm. you wasn't you didn't make a hit record when you were born. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So what after that? Like after like after like in the in, in the in between before you decided I'm finna push for real on do my solo shit and then after obviously everything had went down with, with Cali Swag. What's the most humbling experience you remember having? Whether it be with a family member, somebody recognizing you somewhere. Man, I was homeless, damn near. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like like I, I went through a little situation and you know I had to help a lot of people. It ain't like I, I ain't had no money. Right. I wasn't rich. Yeah, yeah. And then the money that I had, like, a couple thousand, ten thousand, this, that's not a lot of money to me because I know how many people it, 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 I got to help. And up. You feel me? So when I think about it, I be like, oh, this ain't nothing. You feel me? And uh, uh, my people was going through something. I, I was staying with my homie. I had a storage. I got I, my storage. I got shoes up the ass. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a clothes. That's my thing. I like clothes. Right. And people be sending me stuff. So I had a storage full of clothes. And I'm like, bro. <laughs> I got a, I was doing videos and shows, smiling, happy, like mm -hmm. nobody can tell what I was going through. They didn't know I was waking up early. I was sleeping at my uncle's house at, uh, at a time, waking up early, going to the storage spot before they closed, digging through boxes, trying to figure out what I'm going to put on, mm -hmm. putting on my clothes, leaving there, calling the homie, I pick me up. I got this. I got an interview. I got a show and pulling up like this. Wow. Like you feel wow. me? Wow. And I'm like, if that ain't a hum humbling, yeah, hell yeah. But cause I what I what I didn't did, like I'm like, man, I went from hotels, five star meals to this. Yeah. I got my stuff in the storage. No, you not, young. Yeah. That's how I be talking to myself. Nah, hell no. Nah. But then I'll be like, it's cool, cause God ain't gonna put me through nothing I can't handle. And I'm like, look, I, I I went through that, I got past that, now I'm good, you feel me? I got I got a spot, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, Doing I'm good. cool. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But then I'm like, yeah, I still gotta go harder. Like this ain't it. Like you know what I'm saying. I gotta, I gotta make that's it happen. Dope. That's 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 dope. Because it seems like everything that you went through, including like the loss of your homies, the the going through the hunt, the, like what you just, I yeah. never heard that story before. Yeah, shit like that. It seems like you take lessons from every every experience, yeah. and that is more important than everything else. Exactly. Because the lesson is what's going to allow you to like. It's gonna what the what the lesson is gonna do is gonna give you the fuel, like you say, use that shit as fuel uh -huh. to propel you to keep keep pushing and whatever it is that you choose to do. Like if it's gonna be, oh, I'm gonna go hard in this aspect, or like Smooth was doing, I'm finna be, I'm finna go hard doing my family shit. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's gonna propel you to do that. You gotta go hard at it. Yeah. Uh, that that's that's pretty much what I what I did. I just said, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna use this as motivation mm -hmm. to get to the next level because this ain't it. What's the best memory you have of being on the road? Like, uh, what's one of the ones? Just uh, when all of us was together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got on my computer, like, I really want to put out a a, a, a documentary of, because I'm the person, I videotape everything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I had a laptop before Instagram was popping. <laughs> you was the one when we when we came out, it was only Twitter. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It wasn't no videos on nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So we was really just on Twitter. So I had my Mac, and I used to, you know, the little uh, photo, photo booth. booth? Yeah, mm -hmm. I used to photo booth video 
and we'll do walk shows. around with you with what? your computer like this. Wow. big old 17 15 yeah. inch like this we do shows me and i uh i put it on top of the speaker and just let it go and i just let it run and then i'll do this with the crowd man we be in the hotel rooms like the my 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 best moments is in the hotel rooms where all of the homies we putting the towel up under the door uh, so you we, smoke yeah. yeah we in a we in a room and i i, I was the one i used to I always say hey Stop what y'all doing and look around real quick. And the homies said, stop. I'm like, what? And I'd be like, bro, nigga, y- y- y'all see where we at? Mm. This shit crazy. Yeah. Enjoy I'm like, it. you see where we at? I'm like, bro, you, you smoking free weed. Yeah. We got, we had boxes of pizzas stacked up. We didn't pay for none of this. Wow. We had come in the room. The, our, our writer had like a Patron and Pineapple, Hennessy, big bottles and stuff just there Sad. when we walk in. The homies playing video games that uh, Smooth and Embo used to bring their PlayStation all the time. Mm-hmm. So they playing video games. I didn't really play video games. I really was st- talking to girls all the time. Yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> so, I swear to God. So, so they playing video games and I'm like, dang, they, it's brand new shoes. J- Jordan used to send us shoes. Jordan and Nike used wow. to send us free shoes shoes no matter where we was at mm. they used to send us boxes and stuff so we got brand new shoes just thrown on the floor and i'm like man look at this i'm like look what we came from look what we doing and those be my moments and all the homies would look like and this is kind of crazy like damn and i'm like damn and when i think about it i'm like damn did, did we did we pray like you feel mm. me like had did we ever just stop and thank god when be we thankful, said this? Yeah. yeah and i'm like that's crazy because i don't remember i know we used to pray before the show right. like before we got on stage but i don't remember us ever just looking around and saying thank you god and being grateful yeah, yeah you feel me because it was happening so fast right. and i'm like but now to every moment i'm like thank you god yeah. like just for this live like, in gratitude bro oh god you gotta live in gratitude oh that's god. amazing I, I i like i like where you at with it what, what, what other things are you doing outside of music? I, I, remember you, I heard you bringing up some of our movies or doing something oh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, man, I've been uh, I've been trying to get my little acting on this movie. Uh, it's called Street Dreams. Okay. Uh, I seen a post, but I I, I don't know where it's at. But okay. they post they posted. I screenshotted it because I was supposed to post it too. But I've been doing so much. Is, is it out right now? Or nah, is it's gonna, gonna come be out? on Netflix oh. and Hulu and something else. It's a, it's a Street Dreams. It's about a cop that grew up in the wrong neighborhood, uh, and when he, as a kid. Well, he wanted he wanted to be a cop. His dad was a, a detective, mm-hmm. and as a kid, he uh, he went through a traumatizing experience with his his friend getting killed in front of him mm-hmm. by uh, somebody like me, of course. Right. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, so so yeah, killer here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, his friend got shot in front of him, and then he grew up, and you know, he wanted to be a detective, and he go through all this stuff. Like, it's a pretty good movie with Eric Bellinger, uh, Saya in the movie too. Okay, yeah, and uh. A few other people, yeah, man. When it come out, I'm I'm show tapping. Yeah, I'm gonna send please. y'all a link. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's show. dope. That's yeah. congrats on that. Bro. Do you feel like you caught the acting bug when when you did that? Is that was this your first film? Yeah, it was. I What's, feel, okay. I feel like I did. I like it. Yeah, it's low key hard to uh, memorize them lines. Got you. And. D- Acted at the same time because right. at first I was saying the lines how they wrote it. And I'm yeah. like that is not how I talk. You got to put and yourself I was like, into I it. I start asking questions. I'm like, hey. Can I say this? But yeah. how I say it, yeah. they like, yeah, make it you. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. So that made it easier when I start making it me. You like and check now, yourself, now, fool. Now, yeah, nah, like, nah, yeah, yeah, fool. Yeah. Brother. <laughs> now keep it, keep it. Hey, mother lover. <laughs> <You> <laughs> <better> <laughs> <be>. <laughs> hey, now keep it real. How trash were you starting off on the acting shit? Horrible, bro. Right. I felt like they. I felt like they was capping, like they was lying to me. <laughs> like you did good, that, man. That, yeah, that, that, you, I, young. The natural. I'm looking like stop yeah. lying. Yeah. I, I'm like, bro. I felt like I was just <laughs> stiff, like I was reading where you dudes from. I'm like, bro, stop capping. Yeah, like, you feel me? But then I I start getting into it a little bit, like yeah. when I I start seeing everybody else mess up, and I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, okay. Oh, they, they do a different this takes. With me. Okay, yeah, this ain't no right, one take. Cool. So I'm like, all right. And then they, when they was telling me I could do it like me, mm-hmm. and I'm like, shoot. I'm like, when you get banged on, I, I know how. I know how that goes. <laughs> yeah, I know how that goes. I'm go. real familiar with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm like, man, I used to get banged on every day by yeah. the same person. Right? I'm like, nigga, I'm like, I could do that. Yeah, yeah. So when they, they was like, yeah, you, you do it. And I'm like, oh. And then when I did that, they was like, oh, shit. They was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. They was like, and then that's when they said, because it was, I got, I had a small scene in there. And when I did that, um, they was like, damn, we should have used you more in yeah. there because I'm like, oh, because when it's something like that, I'm like, oh, that's really natural because mm-hmm. it's my, yeah, yeah we know, you know. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, yeah. So they start putting me in roles where 
I could pretty much play myself. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? But that's me getting started. But of when course. I start doing them other roles, crying on the spot, yeah, Tyler Perry highlight. Yeah. But yeah, when I start <laughs> doing them crying on the spot and stuff, that's when I'm really acting. Got but yeah, you. man, I, I like acting, though. That's what's up, man. Yeah. I, I'm really, I really think that's that's going to be good for you. Yeah, man. Now, one thing we always ask uh, before we close out, man, what's what's one thing? You know, we got the, the I Wish record, but what's one thing that uh, you want to do or got to do before the year ends? You, the year can't end until Young does this. Uh, man. Until I get this, uh, until I get this song, get a song on the radio, mm-hmm. like radio, just you know what I'm saying, going, cause I'm 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 pushing. Gotcha. You feel me? So you can't end until I do that. And if it don't, I'm gonna say the same thing next year. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Hey, uh, something else I want to ask you about real quick. Um, so how do you feel about gentrification in Inglewood right now? I would, <laughs> as uh. What's her name will say? Like, how do you feel about, like, in, not even just Inglewood, but really the whole, like, area. I mean, I, I saw, because I'm going to tell you what I, what I saw. I saw, huh? I saw a white, I, t- I saw a white, white lady walking a dog and an Asian couple jogging, <laughs> okay, on Manchester and, like, Prairie. Yep. No, no, it was further up. It wasn't even Prairie. It was, um, it was, uh, it was like, Man- matter of fact, it was on Manchester and Grinshaw. Is, I saw an Asian <laughs> couple and a white lady walking a dog by the rallies. Is and man. I was like, <laughs> I, you, like you know this. how you you know how you be driving and you almost run into the motherfucker in front of you because yeah, you, you drive. You like, it's like what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> hey, what you doing here? Hey, uh, we've been doing that lately. Like we've been like, what the hell? It's crazy. Like you you see some, but I mean it was like that before we was over there though. Like. Mm-hmm. Like a long time ago, right? You feel me? It yeah. was like that. And since they building and bringing all this new stuff over there, and, and you getting kicked out. Yeah. That's what they doing. They kicking everybody out. And you and slowly but surely, you gonna start seeing more white people and Asians walking dogs. And you feel me? Because they sending everybody to Victorville, Palmdale, Palmdale, yeah, Palmdale Lancaster, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that's how that's how it's going. And I mean, hey man, I look at that like, hey. If you want to be there, man, step it up. Yeah. Get your money. You that's get your exactly money. what. That's what I. That's you can't. You can't hate. You can't. You can't be mad. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to go out. All right. They, they want us out. Nope. This is what we about to do. Right. Hey, t- let's get this. Get this money. Let's yeah. set up some businesses. Let's let's stay here. Let's figure out how to stay here and make them mad. Like, no, they not leaving. They got money. <laughs> they, they gonna bring all this, this you know opportunity over here. We yeah. gonna be here as well. That's how we got this shit called homegrown spots. What's your favorite spot to eat in the city? Uh. Whenever you whenever you touch down from overseas, you young you gotta pull up and go get this. Mm. I was about to say Bradley Hut, right? Cause that <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the, you know that's the city, but uh, it don't gotta be it, just in. It don't a, have to be in England. It could be anywhere. Uh, it's a new spot. Uh, dang, it's a it's a hot wing spot in uh in Inglewood. Uh, I want to. I almost said hot wing, but it ain't. It's uh. Wings and pots, something like pot, something like that. Wing. They got, they got like, uh, they got like Hennessy wings. What? Hennessy, Hennessy wings. Like with, like with Hennessy. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what they're what? making. I don't know what they put. <laughs> but just... They fire though. They fire. It's like it's on Manchester. Yeah, uh, wings and pot. Wings and pot. Wings yeah, and pot. Fire and pot. Wings and pot. Not even pots. Wing and, wings and pot. Pot on Manchester. Like pot. Yeah. Like P O T. Like P O T. Uh, Manchester and Western, like marijuana. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, Smooth just said it. He said wings and pot, wings yeah. and potatoes. Oh, oh that's okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Wing, okay. Let's let's clarify. Because I'm like wings and pot, like <laughs> like marijuana. Open? Like right. they got the dispensary. They couldn't make a big. All that. You know they couldn't get the right licenses, so they got to do the dispensary <laughs> and hey, the wings. Fire. Um, fire. Fire. That's crazy. Fire. So you always you always got to pull up and get. I, yeah, I just started pulling up like. Yeah. Cause smooth put me on it, I, <laughs> and then the homie put me on. It's a couple of spots. Smooth fat, bro. Know where to eat. I'm, I'm, I'm fuck with smooth because I'm, I'm a bro fat know, ass. Too. He know where to eat. You yeah. feel me? So you tell that, and he be like, "Now, oh, you know what? You know where I, I be going? Uh, 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 so the soulful, uh, dog, uh, thing, uh, the soulful, uh, cafe, soulful cafe. Off yeah, of, uh, yeah. It's on uh, El Segundo. Uh, familiar. I don't think I'm there. Uh, it's Sugar Boogie, you know. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah it's, it's his spot. Got you. Yeah. Oh, he look, almost cursed right there. <laughs> no, you can, you can say whatever the fuck so, you want. I mean, the Soul Food Cafe. Okay. Bro, I ain't going. I'm not even captain because that's the homie. Yeah, yeah. Food is really fire. Yeah. You know how you like your mama to go. You go home and you your mom cooking or your grandma cooking right, or something like right. that. 
Bro knows how to. He got it. Yeah, he got the recipes for hey, the. Man, you know what? Shout, shout out to Sugar Booger because yeah. he hit me up when he was doing his opening, and he was like, "I need you to come DJ." I think I had I had to be at work. Like I'm here. Like I, I don't I don't get to do cool shit anymore. Right. But I, I gotta go. I gotta go pull up on, on on his shit. I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's fire. I'm not lying to yeah. you. If I'm if I'm lying to you, you you hit me up or young you lie. Yeah, you feel me? yeah, 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 yeah. Him yeah. No, I got I'm not you. lying. It's fire, and he got all types of stuff. Mm. Like you feel me? And the Kool Aid, he got Kool Aid. That's oh, fire shit. that he invented. I be trying to get the recipes all the time. I be tasting <laughs> it, trying to see if I know what he mixed with it. He got, <laughs> on everything, I be like. Oh, I, and That's he be looking at me like, out the whole, what, you know what the breakfast, fire, word, yeah, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, got it fire, all. fire. I know, um, I know, Big Y got the. I don't know if this is public knowledge or not. Forgive me if it's not, but he putting together the the whole project. The uh, the bang, uh, uh banging, on banging on wax, on wax evolution. Pro- the banging on wax evolution project. Hey, Are you gonna be on that? Fire, nah. I, t- you I know. I, yeah, these niggas gang banging. <laughs> no, I know. But, but 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 look, I look. mean you could jump on a hook or something. Look, that's what I tell. I be telling them, bro. Yeah. And, and why I be looking at no. me like, shut nah, up, this ain't young. for you. It ain't for you. You gotta <laughs> sit this one out, young. <laughs> Qualified. Uh, everything. But look, like, I tell you this. Every song they got coming out, hard, hard. Word. I heard a couple of records, hard. You know, you I'm, got the one by third OT, YG, mm-hmm. uh, ties on Ty, there. Yeah. yeah, Nip. Yeah. You man, you name it. You, hey, you had you head. had very uh, last thing, last thing. You had two, what I consider two good mentors because one they know the streets, but then they also were part of the business. I know uh, Big Y is one, Wacko is another one. Yeah, what's some game that they gave you that you would want to give to a artist looking up at you like? Maybe I could use that with my shit. Um, pretty much, pretty much what what I said. Like I talk to Y and Y and Wacko all the time. Like they're my big bros, and we we get into it. You feel me? But you know, they they talk to me like a little brother, and they tell me, "Young, relax." You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I took, like I said, I call Y and like fuck, and he'd be like. Business hours. You, know? <laughs> you feel me? And then he'll call me back mm. and he'll tell me, like, you know what I'm saying? Just keep doing what you're doing and, and, and stay in it. Like, just don't don't fall off of what you with your program. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's gonna happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep keep going. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Definitely need more big homies like that, man. That's gonna tell you exactly the real and be patient with you as well, man. Young. We appreciate you coming on through, man. Is oh, there man. anything else that you want to tell the people that we didn't touch up on that you want to make sure that they uh, know? Follow me on Instagram. Yeah. At the name is Young. Young spelled Y-U-N-G. And, uh, man, I wish out now. It's streaming on all platforms, man. Go check it out. Video out right now. There's a link in my bio. YouTube. Just, you know, man, mess with me. I got all types of new music coming out. Uh, yeah. Much love, oh, man. bro. OFB Young. Turn up. Chuck Dizzle, DJ Head, Homegrown Radio, and we out. West Coast.